Hello Guardians, it is Ebontis here, and today is July 30th. Zur has arrived, he is over here in the hangar of the tower, so let's go run over and see what he's got to offer. In case you guys are new, I'll just show you how to get over here. Most of you guys know this though. Uh, quick reminder though, we did have the last word, episode number 160, recorded it this morning. You guys will see it tomorrow on the YouTube channel, so if you want to catch that one, make sure you hit that subscribe button. But we had the awesome Drewski... Kind of a crucible master join us this morning. Awesome chat with him. So don't miss that one. You'll see it tomorrow on YouTube to right here. Choice. But for now, let's see what he's got for sale. All right. So Zur is here. Don't forget to buy our exotic engram. And for sale, he's got Telesto, Lucky Pants, Actium War Rig, and Claws of Ahamkara. I'm going to go through each one of these for you guys. So for Telesto, we've got basically the fusion rifle that has broken the games more time than I think anything else. Uh, the fusion projectiles attach and then detonate with a delayed void blast. So it's one where you can not have to worry so much about range because they, whenever they finally get where they're going, then they attach and explode or they have their delayed explosion. Either way, you may as well have this thing because every so often it's broken and fun. So if you don't own this, buy it, but I'm sure most of you do. For the Hunters, we've got the Lucky Pants with a 66 stat roll. We'll get over there in a second. Illegally modded holster. Precision hits load one round into the chamber of stowed hand cannons. Hand cannons ready faster and are more accurate immediately after swapping to them. So if you get precision hits with another weapon, you load a weapon a round into the hand cannon. Not if it goes overflow or if it just caps it out. Um, but overall, if you like hand cannons, they're ready faster and more accurately after swapping to them. Definitely a good thing for sure if you, you know, use something else, swap to a hand cannon for finish up, vice versa. Hand cannons are definitely a friend here. Mobility of 17, that's a great stat for hunters. Unfortunately, the resilience of 15, if that was in recovery, this would be fantastic. But resilience of 15, you do need some resilience in this game. Not a ton for some classes, but some. Recovery of 2 really hurts to see that one because unfortunately you want ready reload speed and all that stuff more for a PvP setting and having 2 recovery in Crucible, I hope you're making your recovery up somewhere else. The total of 66 isn't bad because you got 9 discipline, 9 intellect, 14 strength, and if you masterwork this one then you'd be like 11, 11, 17, you know, you'd have some decent stats. Recovery being low hurts because you are going to want that to be as high as possible to get you back in the fights as quickly as you can. But overall, a 66 stat roll, if you like hand cannons and you're a hunter, definitely don't skip this one and compare the stat roll. If you've already got one, it may be better, depending on how your how important recovery is to you. For the Titans, we've got the Actium War Rig. This is one you should own as a Titan, just period. You should own this thing mostly because of what it can do. Auto loading leak steadily reloads a portion of your equipped auto rifle or mag, um, basically your light machine gun, the heavy weapon from reserves. And the cool thing is things like Xenophage, you can go through all 32 bullets without reloading if you just hold down the trigger because it's always loading stuff in. Auto rifles work the same way. If you like either of those weapons, especially as LMGs are about to get a boost, uh, the light machine guns are about to get a boost in damage going into whatever next sandbox patch is going to happen most likely. It's going to happen at some point because they've already mentioned that it's coming. Don't skip this one. And it's got a 65 stat roll. 15 mobility, less helpful for a Titan. But 17 resilience is good. You got discipline, intellect, and strength both at 9. So if you masterwork this thing, then they're at 10s. You know, 11s. You got 12 intellect, 17 resilience. Not a horrible stat roll. If that mobility was on recovery, I'd say this is like must, must buy. But it's still a 65 on Actium War Rig. Pretty solid for sure. Finally, for the Warlocks, we've got the Claws of Ahamkara. Basically, you get two melee charges, whatever your melees are. It doesn't matter if it's the Celestial Fire that you throw, if it's, you know, something smaller and closer, but you get two melees, and you've got a 64 stat roll. You got mobility. Unfortunately, they're throwing that on everything today, but this one does have recovery, which is huge. 18 recovery, great stat for Warlocks and PvP. Got discipline, you got strength, as this is a melee-based charge. This is almost a must. Mobility, not as helpful. I wish that was maybe an intellect. But as this is a melee-focused exotic, you have 18 in strength, and if you masterwork it, it's 20. You've got 18 in recovery, that masterwork takes that to 20 as well. This is something you definitely don't want to miss. If you like melees, you ever think they're going to be a good thing, you like messing around them with, the, with them at all, or you just need to knock out some bounties, right here, this is a great setup for melees, and a pretty solid stat roll, almost perfect. If that mobility was intellect, I'd say it'd be golden, but we're close. Either way, check your stats, this might still beat most of what you're wearing. And that's it for Zer. 
So, just a reminder for you guys, I am going to be gone the next two Fridays. So you guys won't be seeing a Zer video from me for two weekends, which is going to be really weird. But I am going to be putting up a master Lost Sector guide for every day a Mass Sector... Like, every day I'm gone, there's going to be a master Lost Sector guide posted for the Lost master Lost Sector that day. So, if you guys are looking to farm those, looking to do those, you'll see a guide from me every day while I'm gone. I'm going to be gone from the 6th to the 13th, so you guys won't see anything but those from me. Um, so if you're not seeing the Zer video, don't worry. I'll be back after that. But thank you guys for the support. Um, looking forward to taking this vacation and looking forward to seeing what happens on the 24th for sure. But if you guys are new to the channel and you enjoyed the content, please drop a like below. If you guys have comments about any of these exotics that might, I may have missed, please put that into the comments as well. If you guys want to find me, it's at Ebontis on Twitter. Uh, Twitch.tv slash Ebontis and right here on YouTube. If you want to hit that subscribe button, alert bell, those are nice ways to support me and see my videos hopefully make it to you. And also, if you want to support the channel and join, you can hit that join button become a member of the channel. Thank you all. Have a good one. I'll see you soon.